Patu, talk about a skill that was difficult for you to learn. You should say what skill it was, why you learned it, why it was difficult to learn, and explain how you felt about this. Okay, Daisy, are you ready for speaking on the cue card? Yes, ma'am. In this modern epoch, where fierce competition has become important in our lives, we have to strive hard to learn new skills. One of the skills that we could learn is computer skill. Therefore, I decided to learn new design and digital marketing last year. I tried several applications of design, such as Photoshop, Inkscape, Corel Draw, and many more. In digital marketing, I also learned about data. As we know, data has always been important in, in business. By learning about digital marketing, I could create targeted campaign and customer profiling. Well, the important reason what, for learning this skill was to prepare according to the need of reaching the highest consumer, especially in education field. The fact is the popularity of digital marketing had been increased in the 21st of century. So that in my workplace, especially in secondary school, design and digital marketing will be necessary to encourage students to register in my school. The whole process was very tiring. I did self-learning by watching videos on YouTube and also several websites. So actually, it was a bit hard for me. Many times I had failed, but I kept on doing practice with determination, dedication, and discipline as well. However, after learning for a few months, I had started feeling comfortable. Okay, so you want to comment on her speaking? For me, I think she needed a little more fluency. And she should have said her persistency. That was a mistake which I... Okay, positive as well. She was able to use connectors. That is conjunctions, words like however, when she's trying to connect her, you know, ideas that she had. Her lexical resource was, you know, up to the mark. Could have been better, but, you know, okay. So yes. I feel these were the positive things. Rekha, ma'am, what's the maximum minutes for speaking? Is it 90 seconds or for, will you go with the full two minutes of speaking? Uh, I would, you know, recommend not to speak for, you know, the whole two minutes. Because you could anything more than, you know, around approximately 1 minute 40 seconds or 1 minute 50 seconds is absolutely fine and acceptable as well. If at all we cross the two minutes mark, then the examiner would interrupt us and probably pose the next question. Okay, sure, you could start now. And I learned a lot many skills in my life and uh, I was very dedicated to learn. So I learned. But the, the better skill uh, which proved a very uh, tough for me, uh, that was uh, cooking. Because at the time, when um, uh, a couple of years ago, the, my, uh, my mother said to me that uh, now we are going to marry, uh, uh, so you must learn that how to cook and I start learning this skill. I, it proved very uh, tough for me and uh, I, uh, I worked very hard for that when I uh, chopped uh, onion or anything, uh, a tear burst into my eyes and uh, my nose became red. I felt very angry even at that time. That, but a time came when I learned that skill. Uh, after very hard work, uh, after uh, learning a lot many things, even I get help from YouTube. I get help from my mother. And at I, at time came when I uh, I cooked a scrumptious cuisine from my family and even from my my, my father give me. Uh, some uh, uh, money as a prize and I was over the moon that wow I am a lady I can do this so at first it was very tough but when I learned and I was become I became super excited that yes even if I learn uh, that how to uh, operate computer I can learn that how to cook uh, delicious food for my family as well thank you so much Okay, thank you so much. And instead of saying, you know, I learned from YouTube and then it came back and you said, I learned from my mother. So you could say, you know, I have learned from both YouTube and my mother. 
instead okay. of repeating the same yes okay so i have reka mom with me she's going to you know comment on your speaking she's going to give you your feedback okay feel that you know there were a lot of phrases which were repeated like i learned you know that phrase especially were repeated and the word difficult stuff we could have a lot of similar word which we could you know use and when you're trying to speak when it comes to cue card you could give us a you know an additional information as well dear like when you started off you know why was this particular skill required for you first of all how important was it you know or how prominent was it you know what role it had to play in your life so you could give that additional info and then start with the main you know subject whatever you have to speak and then you know conclude eventually so that would sound a lot better okay thank you so much you're welcome okay you're welcome okay lolo are you ready for speaking on the cue card yes i'm ready ma'am so you can start now growing up i was my mother's pet and she didn't want me to do any house chores so i grew up as a spoiled brat so when i finished my secondary school i passed with some flying colors and i had to relocate and rent my uh, my, my own uh, apartment uh, and i did not have anyone to do some house chores for me i spent and the first few weeks eating some takeaways because i couldn't cook for myself it was very hard for me because the fast food were not very healthy finally i got to check on youtube and see some videos some some cooking videos at first it was very hard for me to learn how to cook because i did not know how to mix any ingredients or where to get them because every time my mother was the one who went for 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 for, for shopping uh but with practice of course and i asked some of my friends i managed to cook uh, to to learn how to cook although it was a, a hard time for me thank you for listening okay thank you a bit short and you know you had a lot of you know some fillers there that uh, maybe you were trying to place words but couldn't get them at the moment of your speaking but i have rekha mam with me here and you know she is going to comment on your speaking she is going to give you your tips mm -hmm. um as correct we have you know discussed here uh, we had we are supposed to be using connectors you know when you're trying see first you moved there you know after that later you know then at the end so all these phrases are going to add on to your score actually and try and use you know um, conjunctions as well wherever required to give contrasting ideas like i really love cooking however i haven't learned any so something like that will you know probably boost your score as well so that is one of the criteria as well that is coherence that is connectors okay thank you ma'am you're welcome dear Okay, love. Which are you ready for speaking on the cue card? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, and you could speak now. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Um, well, I have always interested in learning new skills. Some skills are quite quite essential for us to learn, while some are very difficult to acquire. Here, I have decided to talk about a skill which was very difficult for me to learn. It is a skill of learning driving. Well, I uh, I had a fear in my in my mind always to drive a car. Therefore, my my father uh, enrolled me. in a driving school so that i could learn driving and gain some confidence there was a teacher uh, named Manj mr manjinder singh who was my instructor of driving uh, in my driving school he was very polite and friendly uh, also he was very well spoken apart from that on the on the very first day he he taught me how to control over the steering i was i was still on the ground and there was no vehicle on the ground uh, there was a fear in my heart uh, 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 i took some lessons from my mentor and after few days we went on the highway where every time i i saw a truck coming from the other side 
I was very scared of that. My Mr. Singh was very upset from me because I stopped my car every time. But he told me that I should keep confidence and courage so that I could learn this skill. Uh, I, do, I took also some other lessons from him and after one month uh, I went on the road with a lot of traffic. Uh, that time my, my car was, uh, was moving very hardly and it was stopping every time. Uh, there, at that time I met with a minor accident with the Arterixa but after some time I gained confidence and comfortable with that driving and I uh, now I learned a lot about driving and its rules. Uh, well, at the end I learned this skill and now I, I, I find happiness while driving. Thank you ma'am. Okay, and he was upset with me, not from me, but he was upset with me. And in one of your sentences, you know, you were learning to drive. Not learning driving, but learning to drive. Okay, but I have Rekha okay. Ma'am with me and she's going to expand on your speaking. So when it comes to your speaking, there were phrases, you know, or words which were probably could have been replaced with standardized words. See, words like upset, you know, this mentor was really upset with me instead of that you know you could be using a different similar word i shall you know share those similar words as well with you today so we are going to stop using common words so we shall work on the pronunciation part connect us dear that's all okay okay thank you ma'am thank you ma'am you're welcome dear okay so we have the next speaker I'm are you ready for speaking yes ma'am so you can start now you can start Okay. Well, uh, some skills are quite essential to learn but can be difficult to acquire. In this contemporary epoch, uh, um, everybody wants to learn uh, technical skills related to computers. But uh, uh, today I take this opportunity uh, to talk about one such skill which, is, uh, which I found very hard to learn for me and that skill is driving. Uh, actually, I had a great deal of fear on my mind towards driving so that I could gain much confidence. My father got me enrolled at a driving school. Apart from this, last year there was a lockdown in my hometown due to COVID-19. That time, uh, yeah, since it was uh, pretty boring for me to sit at home and I tried my hand uh, at driving to kill the monotony of my life. Um, Mr. Singh uh, was driving instructor for uh, instructor and for, on my first day he helped me to gain control over the steering. Um, even though we were driving on the road where no vehicle around us, I was still scared and trembling. But my instructor motivated me to boost my confidence. Um, once I got on the highway, uh, frankly speaking, every time a truck was coming from the other side and I was getting off the road in fear. That time my mentor uh, a little angry with me and told me in a very strict manner, you must keep courage if you really want to learn that skill. Slowly and steadily I got uh, more and more comfortable with driving on the road in different conditions. I was feeling like that I have learned how to drive, but eventually the most challenging part came, which was to drive on the road, uh, drive on the road with huge traffic. In that area, I got goosebumps and my car was hardly moving. But I used the skills uh, which were taught by Mr. Singh. Um, even though this skill was uh, quite difficult for me to learn because uh, I, I had a lot of fear um, in my mind towards uh, driving. Apart from this, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I watched a lot of uh, bad news related to accidents on various YouTube channels. Um, so uh, this, these are the main two reasons why I tried my hand at driving because I wanted to eliminate my fear towards driving and this skill was quite difficult for me to learn because uh, I hadn't have any interest in that skill. So th this was the skill 
which uh, I learned and uh, the experience of Mr. Singh was really appreciated for me and I learned a lot from my instructor. Okay, so Rekha ma'am, did you listen to her speaking? She used, a, yes. you know, one or two of the connectors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. moreover, apart from, um, mm -hmm. so you can, you know, comment on her speaking. Yes, uh, there were connectors which was used and uh, I felt there was one of the sentences which could have been an indirect speech when you're reporting, you know, a conversation between two people. So let us have it in reported or indirect speech rather, like my mentor want me. So that's more than enough. Then apart from that, I felt when it comes to her, you know, tone that she was speaking a little, you know, voice modulation could have been, you know, much better. It should have sounded, uh, you know, more interesting when she is speaking. Yes, yes. As though so she was on a monotone level, mm -hmm. monotone note. Yes. Yes. So, uh, yes, connectors were okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yes, her content was good. She had good amount of content for that matter. So here and there, a bit of reputation, that's all. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, dear. Okay, we have Priscilla. Priscilla, are you ready for speaking on the cue card? Yes, please, ma'am. I'm ready. You could start now. Learning a new skill is quite tough for some individuals, while others also find it very simple. Today, I'd like to share with you a skill that I find very complicated learning, and it's no other thing than rig making. Right after completion of my nursing training, I had to stay at home for a year before I could be posted as a permanent nurse. So I decided to use my time judiciously by doing something that I found very interesting, that is making rebounds. So I contacted my elder sister for her advice and she gave me a thumbs up that is a good thing and it generates a lot of income for people. So I should start learning it so i decided to go in for the tools that i used in making it that is the dummy the rig net and some materials and i i downloaded some youtube videos to watch it whilst i do it myself in fact when i started it it was very difficult for me i nearly gave up but i crossed my fingers and persevered i was very determined to achieve my aim i was eager to have a knowledge in the vocational skill so with two months time, I was able to make some simple ways like the long hair, the simple hair for myself and some siblings of mine. So with continuous practice by time, I was able to achieve my aim and I felt accomplished at the end of the day. Now, although I'm working as a professional nurse, I do it as a part-time job where some of my colleagues order for some ways, I make it for them and it generates money for me. At the end of the day, anytime, I, I remember the, the difficult or the tough moments I went through. I just put on a smiley face and say to my, myself that my, my, my effort didn't go in vain. At the end of the day, I've gotten a vocational technique and I'm using it profitably, which helps me a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anu. Yes, you finished on time. Okay, Rika, ma'am, did you listen to her? She has speaking. She uh, had yes. good fluency. Mm -hmm. Yes, her fluency was good, connectors were good, and uh, she had uh, really good, you know, lexical resource, not common words used. So I'm happy with that part. Yeah, she's one so, of our good speakers in this Zoom session. She's one of the best speakers, I will say. Wow, she that's nice to know. So please continue to do the great job. Here and there, when it comes to pronunciation, you know, probably, uh, you know, because being a native speaker, so she has a strong accent. So yes. that's fine. Apart from that, everything is absolutely fine and up to the mark. So all the okay. best, dear. Okay, thank you very much, Mama. Javier, are you ready for speakers speak on the QCAD? Okay, ma'am. There are a number of skills in my life which I learned from others, especially my parents, grandparents, and uh, uh, my friends. Uh, some skills are too easy to learn, and there are some about which we face difficulties. Uh, the same thing happened with me when I wanted to learn cooking. Uh, I wanted to learn it because I am a great lover of a junk food and uh, I am a girl with a sweet tooth. So these are the, uh, these are the reasons uh, that I wanted to know more about uh, cooking and baking. 
uh, previously i was so busy in my life due to uh, my education and after the completion completion of my education i got a job and i didn't get enough time to do so uh, but during the covid uh, vacation period uh, i got enough spare time to learn it from my mother she has taken a proper uh, cooking classes for me she taught me uh, what are the main procedures involved to uh, bake uh, different uh, products and uh, also uh, uh, for cooking uh, but the main problem which I, which i was facing that i always uh, make uh, wrong measurements of the ingredients sometime i overcook the food and even sometime i just forget the main uh, steps involved during the procedures so uh, my mother wanted me to try it uh, and try again until i succeed and she uh, told me that i should uh, make a diary where i should write the main procedure or, or main, main recipe of the um, uh, product and uh, i should also uh, write down the uh, quantities of uh, ingredients uh, with that practice i learned a lot and uh, with a co consistent effort uh, and uh, a lot of practice i finally i finally uh, becomes a master in cooking and baking so um, now whenever i uh, cook uh, anything for my family they always appreciates me and uh, um, um, with that i felt out of the world okay so I would have said I finally mastered the skill of cooking and baking, but I have Rekha Ma'am with me here. She is going to comment more on your speaking. Okay. Oh yes, dear. So um, you had uh, you know good fluency, but then the rate of speech was a little higher, you know. So okay. probably we will give it a bit pause, you know, sound more human and add a little voice modulation to the speaking, and then. we had when it comes to you know a tense form like uh, instead of using the past tense there were times when we used will the future tense or you know they appreciate so it is they appreciate so you know plural subject so we will have to you know throw light on that dear yes i think okay. we will have to let them know that a singular noun goes with a singular verb likewise a plural noun goes with a plural verb because sometimes you know they mix it up sometimes they eliminate hmm. the s sometimes they add the s to the words okay. so i think you will have to focus on that with them so they will have to uh, that is if you could uh, you know probably throw light or learn the present simple tense that is immensely going to help you dear so you will have the okay. you know hold of it okay this is how i need to really use and what are the scenarios okay farwa are you ready for speaking uh, yes ma'am so you could start on the cue card okay uh, well the skills that was hard to learn but appeared to be one of the most important skills in my life is uh, driving a car uh, if i'm not i'm wrong, sorry ma'am but if you was ready members please mute your mic we don't want to have any disturbances sorry about that um farwa you can you can continue now Okay. Uh, if I'm not wrong, then it's about a decade ago when I was in my college. I learned the skill to become uh, an independent. So, firstly, I asked my father to teach me, as he had a wealthy experience in driving. Uh, but being a good driver, he maybe he is not a good teacher to teach me. So he lost her temper and shouted at me every time, and we both of uh, us create mess in the car. So uh, then I realized that it's not a, a hard. hard not to crack then i found an instructor who was much more patient than my father and he taught me different uh, skills and uh, different uh, things that can help me to uh, to learn driving uh, basically uh, at that time the most difficult thing that i failed was that time uh, we don't have automatic car so automatic uh, gearbox cars are much more difficult to uh, drive so that thing was very difficult for me to learn how to uh, change the gear in which situation so he helped me a lot and uh, taught me and uh, explained in detail that what to do and what things should i avoid and after the the practice of few weeks i became a good confident driver and to be honest when i learned to drive a car uh, 
real meaning of independence so i can go anywhere and that was the most important thing that i learned and the fact that this is the most independent indispensable skill for me that saves me a lot of time and uh, to catch the bus or to wait for the taxi or to ask anyone to give me a lift so that was a thing that i or skill that i learned uh, in my life that feel uh, that i feel difficult while learning okay thank you so much the what skill your skills were you know repeated a number of times we will have similar word you in, used in set and there was this place or sentence where you started using you know question words like what why we will avoid them dear we will have negative or positive sentences instead okay okay also content wise it's good okay your flow and sequence was good we could use some sequence connectors as well okay ma'am all right dear thank you thank you okay so mary vivian you could speak because anjana mic is off okay you could speak okay mary vivian Skill- skill acquisition is the act of learning to do something in order to earn a living or to survive hence i would like to talk about a difficult skill i learned while growing up and this skill is culinary arts the reason i learned to do the reason i learned this skill is because in my culture it is widely accepted it is widely believed that if a girl child doesn't know how to prepare a delicious meal that the mother did not train her very well and it it can also cause divorce in her marriage so i decided i decided to go and learn this skill apart from this it will help one to prepare a cost effective and um, healthy meal at home although it was not easy for me to learn to learn initially it was frustrating because i was unable to uh, mix the ingredient very well at times i would put i would add more salt than what it should be in order and in other time it would be more pepper but with constant practice i was able to learn that art of cooking very well and today i feel over the moon when i prepare meal in my house and my, my husband and my children eat it and they are happy and that makes me to remember the days i was learning it that i was crying that i can't cook so that's the way i felt about that act i was so happy about it okay you felt very happy that's what you wanted to say yes, okay ma'am. so i have rika ma'am with me as you members are well aware that she's an ielts trainer yes. so she's here to yes. comment on your speaking on member speaking okay. that is okay ma'am oh well when it comes to your speaking dear so i felt you know you used an idiom wow that's very nice actually you know which was uh, the right way and uh, you used it in the right context too and you also used some uh, collocations probably that was subconscious like cost effective you know all of those terms are called as collocations so i think your speaking was really great and nice so it was nice bottom line so continue to do the great job thank you ma'am i'm so grateful you're welcome dear thank you ma'am Okay Anjana are you ready for speaking Yes ma'am Anjana so you can speak on yes, the queue card Yes I am ready You can start now Uh well everyone's learn a different skill uh um and I am also learn a, um, di- a difficult skill um that was my cooking um where when I was when i get a free time i went to my grandparents home and uh, they make a delicious food and um, i'm really happy with uh, them uh, because they make a um, de- deli- uh, taste food and she uh, they gave me uh, that uh, the de- uh, dishes and uh, um, and my mother and my you know, grandparents are forced to learn a uh, cooking but i have no idea to make a uh, uh, cooking so um, then um, then um, they forced to learn 
then uh, firstly i i took the notebook and write down the um, how to make the uh, beer, how to make the new dishes and uh, uh, firstly i learned the biryani which was very uh, difficult to learn uh, which which was very difficult to make it so uh, i r- write down the how to make it and uh, which ingredients used to uh, you uh, used to make um, so uh, first of all i firstly i make uh, uh, biryani but uh, then uh, fa- uh, i am failure in the uh, failure in first time secondly um, then again i secondly um, uh, tried um, so um, i got a uh, um, uh delicious food uh then i make uh, um then again and again i try to make it so now i worry uh, i can easily to make a uh, biryani so now um, if i get a chance to buy, uh, chance to make a biryani to my friends or families i'm uh, i have a more confidence definitely i will make it and uh, my family uh, are very supported um okay anjana as to you know you were you know i wrote down because it's a past tense and as though you know it's like you know reading sentences to me you didn't have any you know connection but uh, what exactly was saying then yeah, you had lots of repetition of the word biryani but i have rika mom here with me and she's going to comment on your speaking oh yes dear i felt the rate of speech was a little slow than expected you know it should not sound this monotonous or we should not end up dragging words that does not sound interesting for the examiner to listen to it and words like firstly repeated as again when it comes to past tense you know we use words like write down i write down no i wrote or yes, made I a note wrote. of it so past yes, tense yeah. for that matter so we will have to throw light on the tense forms there and the sentence mm-hmm. structure oh, yes okay so all the best dear. thank you 